Hey guys, how's it going? It's a Friday morning and I'm headed into central London right now because I'm in the mood for a bagel. But not just any bagel, a Jewish bagel. There's a place I want to show you. Let's go. The place we're going to is called Beigel Bake and it's located on the historic Brick Lane Road, famous for street art, vintage shops, and tons of international cuisine. Andres and I were strolling down looking at vintage shops one afternoon and I looked over to my left and saw this big white sign that said Beigel Bake, which I read as bagel at the time, and a huge line standing out the door. I was like, what? is that 24 hours seven days and there was bagels in the window and i was like i am definitely coming back for this today's the day we're headed over there right now we're about a 10 minute walk away the weather is great today it's not raining it's sunny and it's nice and cool outside i'm almost ready to take off my jacket so like you heard me say before it's not bagel it's bagel and it's actually an ode to the Yiddish roots of the bakery. Beigel is actually the, one of the original names of this word that we know today. Bagel is the Americanized version that developed over time. Instantly you know you're on Brick Lane when you start to see all the street art and the vintage shops. We're about a block away from the bakery right now. I'm so hungry. Hopefully there's not too long of a line. Can't wait to get there. All right, I've made it to the bakery, the big white sign. There is a bit of a line, but I think it's gonna move quickly. It's coming out the door now, so I wanna hurry up and get in line before it gets any longer. Let's go. There's a pretty organized line that's formed in a double lane inside the shop and all you see in the back are the trays of bagels just waiting to get made into sandwiches. They make thousands of bagels a day. This place runs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and produces bagels around the clock. Two salt bagels, uh, mustard and pickles please. Anything else? Uh, two waters please. Alright, I've got my bagel sandwich and man, they really run a tight ship in there. We waited maybe five minutes in line. Everybody knows exactly what they're doing. It's just so on point. Here's my bagel right here. I already feel it. It's a little warm. Oh, wow. Check that out. Look at that wonderful salt beef, these pickles, some mustard, and the bagel itself. The sandwich feels nice and doughy. There's a heaping amount of beef in here. I'm curious to see like the flavor components of this. My mouth is watery. First bite. Mm. Oh my God. It was worth the hour of traveling it took to get here. Mm. That's amazing. Mm. Let's start with the bagel itself. It's chewy, dense. They boil the bagels, then they chill them in ice water and then finish baking them. It's all part of the cooking process. Then you have the beef, similar to the corned beef that we normally have, but better. It's thick, but it breaks away like brisket so easily. It's got just enough saltiness to it where it complements everything and really brings out the flavor. That red color of the beef from all of that boiling down and curing and the salt is just fantastic. And the pickles are perfect, tangy, salty, definitely no sweetness to them at all. This is a 100% kosher pickle. And then the yellow mustard inside just adds more tanginess to it. This is so good. Every bite you're getting a little bit of that pickle and there's just a little bit of mustard. There's not too much. Mm. That bite was better than the first. Mm. There's about like one inch thickness of the salt beef in there. That's just wonderful. I was talking to a local while we were standing in line and he said he's been coming here for 40 years. Gets the same thing every time. Mm. Let me get a little bit of that pickle with the bagel. 
oh yeah, crunch of the pickle. Mm. So good. I love how even though this is a street food, it's not very messy. So it's a pretty pleasant experience all around. Come look at this though. I want to show you the inside of the sandwich. Let's take a look at that. Look at that. Those perfect slices of the salt beef. Just a little bit of fat on there, but everything is so tender and juicy. Then you've got the pickles. Nice slice. I actually am really glad I got this um, end piece of the pickle. I love that side of the pickle. Just a little bit of mustard. Just enough to kind of just wet the bread and give it a little bit of tanginess to it. this glossy feel to the Bible is just so representative of the Bible. Mm. That's what you get from steaming it. it. Creates this nice shell around the bread. Locking in moisture and density. And then when you bake it, you finish off the, the bread and get some color on it. The baigo itself has a little bit of sweetness to it. Just a slight touch. This can really go good with anything. But I've never had it like this with the salt beef and the pickles in it. It's so good. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to make it today on a Friday. Then, uh, a weekend because it really gets so busy on the weekend. I really wasn't sure if I was ever really going to be able to come out here. I should probably also mention that there's an. Hey! I'm it's amazing! Fun. Thanks, man. So good. Nice Thank to meet you. you. <laughs> that was the guy we were talking to earlier. He's been coming here for 40 years. I should probably mention that there's another bagel shop just a couple doors down. And when I first saw it, I was like, what's going on here? Because there's a white sign, there's a yellow sign. Like, are they the same? What's the, 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 the Baigo name is spelled the same. It turns out the yellow sign building is the original Baigo shop. And they opened in, eight, and they opened in 1855. Now, the family was working together. Of course, over time, you have some differences of opinion and how you want the future of the business to go. So they split off from each other. And in 1974, the Bagel Bake opened up, which is where we got our sandwich today. They're both super popular and both have huge lines out the door every single weekend. But I chose Bagel Bake because they have a more traditional kosher style menu. So that's really what made the difference for me between going one to the other. Um, and I'm glad I did because this is just like such an authentic kosher style bagel with the salt beef and the pickles and the mustard is so good. But uh, yeah, and I also read that there's no animosity between the two businesses. Really, it's, you know, the urban legends are just great for business. So it works out in everybody's favor. So yeah, really good stuff. They have a few other varieties of bagel. Bagel, sorry. They have a poppy seed one. They have a seeded one, which is kind of like an everything bagel. They have pumpernickel bread, rye bread, a challah and a platzel bagel. Um, and then they've also got pastries. They've got an array of pastries in the counter. They've got this Jewish cheesecake that I'm not gonna try today because can't have both but if I come back I'm definitely gonna get a square of that Jewish cheesecake if you guys come here definitely take a square of that Jewish cheesecake if you can fit it in or take it to your hotel with you um, because it looks delicious fluffy and just looks like it's really good mm. look how that just comes off there mm. oh. So good. Mm -hmm. We're waiting in line there. You see the prep kitchen. It's just like 
they're cleaning, they're scrubbing, which is really good to see when the, the back of the house is really being kept up and everybody's just kind of chatting. They all sound like they're having a great time, kind of just enjoying what they're doing, which is great to see as well. Um, I love the transparency of the shop where it's not hidden. You can see what's going on on the front of the house and the back of the house. Everybody was overall really nice. And like I said, this place is open 24 hours. I mean, so in the middle of the night, you have the club goers getting out of the club, needing something hefty to like wash away and absorb all of the alcohol and other fun stuff they've had that evening. So, I mean, this is like, it's great. I mean, you can't, you can't beat it. Like the prices are good. The salt beef was eight pounds, which is a little bit more expensive. But if you're just getting like their bagel with cream cheese, or their, their solo bagels, they're like maybe 50 pence, 50 cents, um, super inexpensive. I was reading online that they really have tried to keep their prices down, but obviously with cost of inflation, cost of products going up, the flowers getting more expensive, you do have to raise your prices some, but I mean, I'll pay eight bucks for this. Like that is extremely fresh. The, the salt beef is perfectly seasoned. You can tell it's expertly made and the bit the bagels like hello come on <laughs> it's not every day i even eat a bagel because it's such a dense product that i try not to eat it too much but i was not gonna miss this for anything in the world because i love bagels bagels i love all of them all of them Getting a little bit of like a horseradish flavor off of that pickle bite. Yum. Mm -hmm. If you eat this after going to a club, you're gonna go home and you're gonna knock out. You're gonna be so cozy. <laughs> this is great. Every bite, just as good as the last one. Mm, so good. All right guys, I'm getting down to the last few bites here. And I just have to say what a great experience this was. I'm so glad we made it down here today. And just to let you know, if you see this place, the line out the door, it's not all hype. It really is authentic and something that you really want to experience when you're here. I mean, we were even talking to some of the locals when we were standing in line. They're like, we've been coming here for 40 years, 30 years you about it they know it's the real deal so if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe to help us grow the channel and for more food content if you have any other recommendations of places I should visit while I'm in London please let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you guys on the next one see you later